Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. The Halloween event of 2023 has returned for Neverwinter and this year we have a few new rewards. Here we're going to cover how you can make the most of this event, how you can get all the rewards fairly easily. So first of all, what is new? Well, you may have seen already, we have a new team, which is this guy. You'll be able to get a visage where you can make yourself look like him. Not too excited about this one, but I guess there is a male and female variant. Basically a vampire team. Now, if you've not done this event before, you'll get a bunch of quests, which are intros and tell you what you can do. So first of all, what we need to do here is basically speak to the different teams. So we'll just complete those gold quests we got. We speak to this team right here. Then we speak back to the contest master. And then you need to choose a team. Do you want to choose this year's team or, or not? So... You can speak to this guy, then you can speak to the other guys. This is another contester and you can speak to this guy here. I recommend we can just go with the new one because why not? And you can sign up to it. Just be aware you cannot change it once you've done so. And you'll only get the free reward depending if your team wins or not. Now this guy will give you then a bunch of quests, your contest leader. You can do these quests, yes, but I don't really recommend bothering so much with them. You will want to help your team win though initially. You'll want to get a minimum participation score by completing a minimum amount of quests. I'll show you how many you'll need when you complete one and basically if the team does win then you'll get a free visage now with regards to the rewards this year you can check them out in the store you'll need the currency from farming the event which we'll discuss in just a short while but you can get the visages but you can get the visages of the previous year the visage of toil is here and you can get the other visages from the zen market now what's new is the vampire bride companion I recommend picking her up if you don't have that many companions. We're going to get her and we're going to test out her damage and see how good she is in combat, but very likely in another video. And then we have the new mount, the reanimated chariot. What's good with it is it has four slot insignias. Right now you can't really use it for a whole lot, but the next module with 27, you'll be able to use it to get the bonuses of Enchanter's Hex and Warlord's Motivation. The current ones you can obtain with it is Lionheart's Preservance and Accursed Resolve. Not that great, more orientated towards a tank. But next module, Enchanter's Hex and Warlord's Motivation are two very good bonuses for damage dealers. So 100% take part in this event on all of your characters that are damage dealers and get this mount. It'll be well worth it. The unfortunate thing is it binds on pickup account. You won't be trading it between players, but at least you should be able to transfer it between your characters. You can farm the event on one character, get your rewards and give them to other characters. The companion on the other hand, binds on equip so we should be able to sell this the rest of the event is mainly fashion you can check out the different fashion sets here just by right clicking on them and yeah there's a bunch of masks down here you can get as well consumables are a bit of a meme there but you do have dyes if you miss those and then there's an exchange so how do you take part in this event what should you be doing well very simply you want to go around protectors enclave and interact with these pumpkins. Each pumpkin will give you a liar's charm. Then what you want to do with that liar's charm is go to an NPC with the pumpkin icon, go continue, and it'll give you a bag of illusionist treats. Then you go to another pumpkin, get another liar's charm, and then speak to another NPC. Now the total amount of charms you can have stacked up at any one time is five. So by the time you have five of these charms in your inventory, you won't be able to interact with the pumpkins anymore. So you want to have a route that you take where you will get a pumpkin, interact with an NPC, get another pumpkin, interact with another one, and you just continue round and round and round. Just be aware, none of this will contribute to helping your team, say, win. You need to do quests for that. You can see you do get a bunch of blue, like, trick-or-treat quests, and those are repeatable ones from your team. And yeah, you can do those. But the rewards from them are just not worth your time compared to just getting those illusionist bags by simply doing the pumpkin method. You can see each bag would give you like two to three of these 
tokens, which is what you need for purchasing the things in the store. You may also notice you get these veils of mists and these veils of shadows and also these mementos. Basically, those are used to refine the illusionist mask, which generally is not worth your time. If you're a tank, yes, it can be. You can see it in the collections here on maximum. It'll give 15% stamina regen, which is what you want as a tank. And on legendary, it is the same item level of 600 of another mythic artifact of that type, giving stamina regen. For example, you look at the Wheel of Elements, 600 item level, 15% stamina regen. So it's not a problem with it only being legendary. However, you can trade that in that mask and end up getting this other mask, which I don't recommend. That's pretty much it for the event and what you want to do. Rinse and repeat picking up pumpkins. In terms of your team and how many quests you actually need to do to make your team win or to benefit from the reward if your team does win, well, we shall see. So we'll just do one of these quests, which is trick or treat. So you speak to these tricksters, but you can see you get a warning. You need to put your team's mask on in character gear, mask of the blood lust so once you have it you can speak to these dudes and then you get a trick or a treat we got a treat a crunchy one there's another ghost trick or treat there we go you can head back to your contest master whether it's one of the three and you complete the quest and then you'll have a cooldown before you can do that again but when you look on the quest bar here you can see you need to complete 15 daily quests to help your team in order to be eligible for the reward if your team wins. So we've done one out of 15. So yeah, you can choose a team and just not participate, but then it doesn't really matter what team you chose. Only if you get the 15 quests done, will you get the free visage if that is the winning team. But regardless of who wins, you'll still be able to spend some currency after the event is over to just simply buy the visage. So again, all I really recommend with this event is go ahead, get the new companion, you can get a bunch of her and you could sell her later on. But what's really notable is this new mount, get him for your damage dealers for the four slot insignia bonuses, in particular coming with Maja 27, Chandra's Hex and Warlord Motivation. The other mounts, unfortunately, are just three slot mounts. You'll only be using them for fashion, so you can get them if you so desire. You may occasionally get from these bags of illusionist goods, Beholder Piñatas, and those Piñatas are pretty decent these days. Their cooldown is 10 seconds, as per the other ones, and they drop the same rewards as the Summer Festival ones nowadays, except the food is slightly different. So they'll drop a piece of refinement, a piece of event food, and then like an, an altar or maybe an insignia or a potion. So yeah, pretty decent to get these. It's just, yeah, you can't really farm them like you can with the Summer Festival, but they do drop pumpkin soup, which is a copy and paste of squash soup, which costs a lot. It's just, they are bound to your character. So yeah, make sure you farm this event on the character you want, let's say that food. But that is ultimately the event. Again, very simply going around, interacting with these pumpkins to get your charms, and then going visiting the NPCs to trade in that charm. Again, each one giving two to three of these mask ray tokens, allowing you to get the event currency. What is annoying is you can't see how much you actually have. I don't know why they changed that. But if you look in your inventory, the coin section, you go down here, we can see we have a total of 568 mask ray tokens right now. You need to get to a thousand to get the reanimated chariot. I'll most likely come out with another video showing exactly what route I take to farm the pumpkins, but ultimately a showcase of the new mount and a test of the new companion when I get it. I'll need to do a bit of farming on live in order to get enough of those masquerade tokens. So don't stress too much about this event, mainly fashion, but that mount is particularly good and I highly recommend picking it up. If you really farm your ass off, you can probably buy some of those rewards, check the bound status on them. Some of them are not bound until you equip them and you can always save them and they'll sell for double, triple the amount of price that you might see on the auction house right now. 
So a special thank you to all these channel members for their added support. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.